Hi guys, welcome back to FM Base FC for episode number 23. Hope you are doing well today. We're starting off today on the transfer history screen. As you can see, we've had a complete overhaul of our staff here. So many new players coming in, 20 new players, staff members coming in. We've released a fair few of them. We've just looked to improve it basically, make them a, a little bit better. And on the transfer front, uh, we're not showing them there we go we have made some signings to come in in general just to help improve the, the depth of the team so the first one is Matthew Bonswell from Leipzig Leipzig um, decent look defender should have a bit of potential uh, the scout that we did have to scout him has since left but he looks all right he's gonna be some good backup if we do have any more of them issues where everyone's on international duty the next one is Andy Ruminotta from Reading again pretty decent all-round player he is actually showing as our third best centre mid at one point he was challenging Cyric so he might actually get a fair bit of game time and Thiago Silva from Nottingham Forest he's also coming in pretty good player as well so I'm going to be very happy when they do join us. Well, now we've had a bit of a change around from the schedule plan because Burton was rearranged for the international fixtures. So today we are playing Wimbledon and Cambridge. Now as you can see here, since our terrible run of form, we've turned it around. They just don't want to play on camera apparently this season. We beat Yeovil 3-0, Warrington, Bonson and Victor again scoring. And then Warrington in fact has been on a fantastic run of form with another goal and a 2-1 victory over Port Vale with Jameson scoring the important second goal. 3-1 over Cheltenham, Warrington again with McDonough and Rudholm scoring. And then 4-1 over Swindon, Williams, Warrington, own goal and Keir by scoring in that game. No clean sheets apart from that first game again, so we are really struggling defensively for clean sheets, which isn't great. But we are going to play in Wimbledon first of all. They are currently second in the league open that six point gap again against uh, above them so that is going to be a crucial game so this is the line that we are starting with today is it there we go Ooh, Bonderson as well so we are going to rest the full backs in this game so this is the lineup we are going with now. We're going with Shipway, Woodinson, McDonough, Whitehead, Malacca, Elmo, McKelly, Jameson, Williams, Warrington and Victor. We have Sir Janssen, Patton, Kier by Coffson, Cavani and Williams on the bench. I just want to hide players not at the club. That might make that a little bit better. So Culhane, Ashley Munton, Danet, Bonson, Rudholm, Orms now on this. The starting 11 and the bench today. Again, you've just seen take out a couple of them just for fitness reasons. I'm actually... Colhane's going to come on there for, for Cavani. I don't like having a sub-keeper on the bench. I feel like it's a waste of spot. So get ready for Shipway to be sent off in today's game. Here we go. Malaka is lacking a bit in match fitness. So hopefully this will help him out today. So let's go and hopefully improve from that last episode where we had the three defeats which was really disappointing obviously we started off pretty poorly with the first couple of episodes overall and that's hit the crossbar from the cross it's back in and Victor can't get there it's cleared out and that was almost an incredible start Waterson's cross hidden bar and the free kick from Rodoni just wide I think he was already off to celebrate there so already a couple of decent chances each but yeah as I was saying it's probably our worst run of form we've actually had since the start in that last episode. Williams though robs Shelton of the ball. Shelton winnings it back and Riley back to Ridoni into Hartigan and Dawson now. Pass one, free run and goal and what a strike that is from Shane, uh, Steve Dawson. Fantastic hit, very poor again defensively. Whitehead wasn't quite where he should be actually. He was quite wide hearted and played it in look at this Dawson and I had no idea what Whitehead was doing that far forward but that is an incredible strike from Dawson lovely finish from him 
free kick from Dawson, won by McKelly and Oliver Williams now to bring it forward. Oliver Williams is taking it all the way, he's one on one, keeper tips it over, it's a corner for us and hopefully we can strike back pretty quickly. Warrington again with a corner, I do need to take a look at that, no idea why he's taking them. McKelly into Warrington, tackled by Rodoni, cleared out. Elmo with the free kick to swing it in, back post, header clear and Warrington is going to pick it up. Goes back to Woodinson, out to Elmo, into Williams first time and that's going to be a penalty. Stabana brings down Oliver Williams, picks up a booking for, for that challenge and Warrington to take the penalty to level it up just past the keeper into the bottom corner. It's one all. that's his 12th goal this season. Good penalty, perhaps unlucky for the keeper here. He, he just under his hand. Keeper probably feel like he should have saved that, but back level. Jameson picking up a knock. It's a tight hamstring, and so does Oliver Williams' potential foot injury. We're not going to mess around with either of them. Patton and Johansson coming on. We're not going to risk any injuries. We could have probably risked Williams. It's just a bruised ankle, but. I don't really want to. So that's two subs gone in this first half already. As the free kick comes in straight at Shipway, fortunately. Can he set off a counter attack? He's found Johansson, who has been asking for game time before this. If he can impress here, it's just wide. This is his chance to um, to stake a claim in the league starting lineup, really. As we come towards half time, it is still 1 0. Victor looking nervous, which is a bit of worry. Elmo picking up a book in there. We go into half time. We're going to encourage them to keep going. That they can still win this one. Victor picks up a caution now. Malaka playing poorly. Whitehead playing poorly. This is a bit of a worry. We're going to demand more from, from the players. Nightingale knocks it forward and pick it onto Robbins. Hey, Roberts. McNabb into Dawson. We really need to close him down. Good tackle by Whitehead, but with Dawson still has it. Rodoni now, first time strike from Hart again, that was just wide. I'd like to think Shipway had that covered, but a bit unsure after the first screamer that went in. And now we've got a couple of players struggling for fitness. I don't know what we can do here, struggling for obviously fitness and one substitution left. It's a bit of worry, but the kick out of Kiba's hands, take it quickly to pat on. It's three on two. And it's cleared out. We should have done better. Warrington probably should have gone wide there and given some space instead of crowding himself. But Malacca crosses in and Victor flicks it on. It's just over. And that is actually going to be his last contribution to this game. As Ryan Williams is going to come on for Victor into that attacking centre mid roll. We're going to go back to the usual formation we use the 4-2-3-1 Redoni knocks it forward for pick up into Hartigan and again the defence is nowhere to be seen Hartigan just wide maybe we're gonna go a little bit more uh, less attacking just so people are still back free kick it's over everyone but Patton picks it up recycles in for McDonough second goal of the season 2-1 Lovely finish that one. Patton did really well to recycle the original free kick and get the ball back into the box. As you will see here in three dimensions, Elmo's ball is pretty poor, but Patton swings it in. It's a lovely volley into that bottom corner. And that is 2 1. We've turned this around. Can we hold on to this? I'm going to go uh, balance now just so we can keep people in shape. Patton there with the ball finds Warrington back to Patton. Pulls it across Johansson with a tap in for his first of the season. 3 1, and that's going to seal the game. Patton again has changed this game actually since coming on with two assists now. Lovely little 1 2 with Warrington. Gets to the byline, pulls it across. The keeper probably should have got a touch on that, and Johansson just gets a tap in. Simple stuff for him, really. And are we going to get another one? The corner, Warrington. Ryan Williams just over from the corner. You may saw at the bottom that O'Shea encouraging. John O'Shea is Wimbledon manager. Elmo's free kick claimed by Southwood. It's bounced off his own man. Oh, 
and that just bounced off over on a bit of pinball in there. We probably should have taken advantage of that as well. Wooden Cern, Platon flicks it in, but he's offside. Was that going in anyway? Did he just basically roll out a goal? We're not going to see. It's not going to show us a replay. Dawson knocks it down to Nightingale. Looks over the top of McDonough. Heads that clear. And that is full time. And finally, oh, it's going to show us now, is it? What I think is level. Tech. I don't think that's offside at all. Not that it matters. I'd be very angry if that was the um, for the winner. But at the end of the day, it's a victory regardless. So we'll be back for the next game against Cambridge in just a second. And welcome back for the match against managerless Cambridge, who are struggling 23rd in the league. We are having a bit of a change team as well this time around. I do want to give some other players a bit more of a chance and just see how how people can do and see if we can like, try and not concede as many actually is the main aim of this. So as you say in the background I'm just messing around with the team, just having a bit of a change around, see what we can do in there. Uh, I mean, striker wise, we're fine, are we? So, just before we dig into it, we have the AR FA Cup draw and we get the chance of revenge against Plymouth. I know we've got to beat them in the league, but the FA Cup first round is against the Plymouth team that knocked us out last season. So, that will be ideal this time around. Hopefully, we can, we can get that revenge and show them what it feels like to be knocked out of this the FA Cup. So this is the line that we are going for today. Cavani regains his place in goal. Shipway has been conceding a few. Not all of them his fault, but we just want to give Cavani a chance here. Woodenson, Dana, Whitehead, Bonson, Ashley Munkovson, Patton Johansson, Warrington and Victor. Obviously Patton Johansson both played pretty well after coming in that last game. So we're going to give them the start and see if they can continue that run of form. I don't expect nothing but a win. I want to put some pressure on the lads this time around. So as you can see, Cambridge, the only reason they're above Bolton is because of Bolton's minus 12 points as well at the start. So these are technically the worst team in the league. Ashley Munn with the ball, finds Coffson back to Ashley Munn into Woodinson. Running at his man, cross is blocked and Ashley Munn picks it up. And he's tackled by Hanant, who now looks to bring it forward for Cambridge into Nibs. And they've scored. And we're 1-0 down against the worst team in the league. And that was pretty, pretty poor. Hannant driving forward. Nibs probably should have been Whitehead's man. He should have been tied to him. And we're 1-0 down after 12 minutes. And now we need to turn it up. And play the football that we know we can play. Woodenson into Coffson. Looks over for Johansson, back to Bonson, in and cleared out. Dano picks it up. Ashley Munn, back to Dano. Looks over the top of Victor, flicks it on and meet off. Saves that pretty easily. Is he going to look to start an attack for Cambridge? White is going to pick that up easily into Johansson. Through the middle, into Victor, lovely through ball and he's pulled it wide and he should be scoring that. He knows he should be scoring that. That's a great chance. One on one, and he's pulled it wide. Carruthers, it's blocked by Vic, and it's fallen to Victor even. Victor passed his man. He's through, pulls it across goal, and Warrington should have been trying to get in on that as well. Just wide of the post, and it was sort of a cross come shot. As now Cambridge smash it forward. Goodison picks it up, and don't know why Patton needed to, to chase all the way back for that. Dano back to Cavani into Dano. Warrington flicks it on for Patton, who's in and he's scored. It looks like he was going to go to the far post, he's caught the keeper out there and beat him at his near post and Patton has levelled it up and these past couple of games he's been in immense form. It's actually the defender tried to flick it on, it came off Warrington into defeated Patton and look at this, he's gone with his right foot instead of his left trying to place it into that bottom corner but we're back level now. Patton has been fantastic recently. Ashton went into Warrington, back to Ashton Woodenson. 
across it in Victor this time flicks it into the back of the net and it's 2-1 and all of a sudden we've turned it round we are leading now it's a little throw in Warrington back to Ashleyman into Woodinson and he just stands on up at the near post and Victor gets above Darling to head into that top corner and make it 2-1 two, two goals in six minutes for us uh, giving us the lead and that is what we wanted this is like I say, the sort of football that we know we can play so what more can we do here now can we go and extend on that and it's poor goal kick and Patton has it crosses in Victor just over this time apparently clipped the bar there so that was again promising move and Patton is completely pulling the strings of this game but the free kick now comes in it's straight at Cavani who looks to get his downfield straight away Warrington into Ashton finds Johansson it's one a corner it came off the defender and that probably affected it but it was lovely football corner header clear Ashton now into Whitehead and that's going to be half time Whitehead and Bonson on a booking so far but that is ideal we're going to tell them to not get complacent pick up the performance levels so Bonson isn't playing great Whitehead isn't either so defensively we are a little bit worrying really I mean obviously we conceded again and Victor's header just goes wide there he's having plenty of chances so 65 minutes in who do we change Dan it's going to go into the right back position and McKelly is actually going to come on and play centre back replacing Woodinson and that's the only change we're going to make right now. We're going to leave it as it is, but we are going to demand more. Corner comes in, and Ashimon has flicked it on and into the back of the net for his first goal of the season. It was Warrington's corner, and I believe it came off the underside of the bar. Warrington is head up, and it's hit the keeper actually and gone in. It's 3 1 for the second game in a row. People starting to play pretty well now and we probably should have let that run out and see what's going to happen but we're going to make a couple of changes Kirby is going to come on for Victor he's a little bit tired and Sirik can come on for Ashley Munt Bonson's corner comes in his header clear and Warrington picks it up into Bonson pulls it across is that going to go out Hansen's kept it in he's kept the ball as well but given away with the attempted cross. Coffson gets there first, finds Patton, and if he's got the seen the overlap, he hasn't. There's plenty of space on that right hand side, but find Bonson into Victor, and he smashes that into the back of the goal. 4 1, his top goal this season. It's almost as if he knew that I'm looking at taking him off. Patton, great ball in, first time across, and smashes that in to the back of the net we are going to take him off anyway even though he's on a hard trick apologies to uh, Fadjo Victor for that but I want to give him a rest and we need to sort of look at rotating the strikers now giving them some time off as well but that is a lovely victory and a lot better than last episode with the 4-1 victory here now the next time we're going to be back is going to be Plymouth and Fleetwood for the double cup header so we're just going to play these three games off screen so the FA Cup first round and the decider of the EFL trophy game obviously we lost the first game against Holden but that will be the ones that we are back for so until next time if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe ring that bell until next time I'm out see ya